We say goodbye to 2023 and welcome 2024. However, we should not forget to remember Filipino personalities who were left behind and able to welcome the onset of 2024. Here are famous Pinoy personalities who earlier left in 2023. We will be missing them as we journey through the years. Terry Saldana was a professional basketball player for Barangay Ginebra San Miguel, Popcola Panthers, Shell Turbo Chargers. He died of kidney ailment on February 1, 2023. Roberto Villayo Ongpin was a Filipino businessman who served as the Minister of Commerce and Industry during the Marcos administration. His younger brother Jaime served as the Minister of Finance of the Philippines under President Corazon Aquino. In 2018 ranking by Forbes of the world's riches, Ongpin was named as the Philippines' 12th wealthiest Filipino. He died on February 4, 2023. Loalhati Bautista was a writer, novelist, liberal activist, and political critic. Her most popular novels included the Kadish Tenta, Bata Bata Paan Kwa Ginawa. Bautista was honored by the Ateneo Library of Women's Writings on March 10, 2004. In 2005, the Feminist Centennial Film Festival presented her with recognition of her outstanding achievement in screenplay writing. In 2006, she was given the Watt Award for Best Writer by the 16th International Women's Film Festival of the UP Film Center. Bautista became known for her honest realism, courageous exploration of Philippine women's issues at home and in the workplace. She died of cancer on February 12, 2023. Emmanuel Victoria was a former PBA player who played for the RFM and San Miguel franchise teams. Prior to entering the PBA, he was a player for the San Bedel Red Lions. He died of acute myocardial infarction on March 1, 2023. Ronald Luis Lado is a veteran broadcaster, writer, and a painter, an eloquent and accomplished public speaker. Lido worked in both radio and television. He was a stringer for GMA Network in the 1980s and last served as chief encore for TV11 Zamboanga. He died on September 9, 2023. The cause of his death was undisclosed. Bayani Flores Fernando was a politician who was appointed in 2002 as a chairman of the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority by former President Gloria Macapagal Arruyo. Fernando briefly served as Secretary of the Department of Public Works and Highways. He died of an accidental fall on September 22, 2023. Johans Bui was a former The Voice Kids contender in 2016 and an actor. Some of his movies included Day Zero, The Day I Love You. He died on November 11, 2023 of an undisclosed reason. Conrado de Cruz was a veteran journalist, columnist, and writer who covered Philippine politics from the 1980s to the early decades of the 21st century. He authored several books such as Dead Aim, how Marcos ambushed Philippine democracy, Tongues on Fire, a compilation of his speeches, and Flowers from the Rubble. He formerly taught at the University of the Philippines College of Mass Communication. He died on November 16, 2023, after suffering from massive stroke. Roslyn Alba Cubarubias was a Filipino-American television presenter, producer, author, speaker, DJ, radio host, businesswoman, event producer, and marketing executive. She was the co-founder of Global Talent Discovery video platform. She died suddenly on November 19, 2023. Andre Season was a GMA teen artist and model. 
His famous films were Dead Kids and Unstoppable Force. Andresen died in a car accident on March 24, 2023. Angela Perez or Ruena Mora was known for her performance in sexy films of the 1980s. She was given the screen name of Angela Perez by Lily Monteverde due to her resemblance to Italian actress Pier Angeli. She died of a stroke on March 29, 2023. Edgar E. Pixon was a sportscaster, sports administrator, and a columnist. He was known for being a commentator in the Philippine Basketball Association from the 1990s to the early 2000s. He was president of the Association of Boxing Alliances in the Philippines from November 2021 until his death on April 19, 2023 of liver cancer. Carlos Mapili Padilla was a politician who served as the governor of Nueva Vizcaya from 2016 until his death. Padilla was elected to his first term as governor in 2016 and was re-elected in 2019 and 2022. While in Congress, he served as deputy speaker and a minority floor leader. He passed away on May 5, 2023 of a heart attack. Jan Regala was a veteran actor, best known as an action star and environmentalist. He started in the entertainment industry as a member of the 1986 television show, That's Entertainment. He went on to play well-known contributor roles in action movies and teleseries in the 1990s. He died on June 3, 2023 because of liver and kidney complications after cardiac arrest. Rodolfo Biazon was a politician and Philippine Marine Corps general. He was a chief of staff of the armed forces of the Philippines in early 1991 and then served as a senator from 1992 to 1995 and from 1998 to 2010. During his time in the military, he served as superintendent of the Philippine Military Academy, commandant of the Philippine Marine Corps, vice chief of staff, and finally, Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. After his stints in the Senate, he served as a representative of Montinlupa from 2010 to 2016. He died of pneumonia on June 12, 2023. Ricky Rivera was a former Dutch Entertainment member, director, and actor. The actor-director died on July 16, 2023 after suffering from a second stroke. Mario Dumawal was a veteran showbiz anchor, broadcaster, and journalist for ABS-CBN News and Current Affairs. He started his career as a staff writer for the Ministry of Agriculture till he was hired by the Times Journal as an entertainment reporter. He eventually anchored the news program TV Patrol from ABS-CBN. He was honored with the star of the Eastwood City Walk fame in recognition of his contributions to the Philippine entertainment industry. Dumawal died on July 5, 2023 of septic shock. Kenny Dinakar was a young actor and internet personality. He is known for Lacan and Bawalna Game Show. He died on July 25, 2023 due to complications of leukemia. Willie Nipomuseno was an impersonator and satirist best known for his impersonation of political personalities, especially Philippine presidents such as Ferdinand Marcos, Fidel B. Ramos, Joseph Estrada, Benigno Aquino III, and Rodrigo Duterte. 
as well as actors such as Fernando Pugh Jr. and Dolphy. He died on July 26, 2023 after head injuries following a fall from his bed. Patrick Henson Guzman was a Canadian Filipino actor who was prominent during the 1990s. Guzman's acting career began when he was noticed during a Swatch television commercial. From then on, he made several appearances in television and in film in the 1990s until the early 2000s. He died on June 15, 2023 as a result of heart attack. Christian de Leon Espiritu studied architecture at the University of Santo Tomas. He became a draftsman for Leandro Loxin before deciding to shift careers into fashion design. Espiritu was considered an important figure in redefining Filipiniana attire and Filipino fashion along with a generation of designers that included Pitoy Moreno, Ben Farales, among others from the 1960s onward. He died on June 18, 2023. GM Canlas was a former child actor. He is Jamil Matthew Canlas in real life. Some of his films include Annie, Kiko Buxingero, and Unconditional. He died on August 3, 2023, and its cause was not disclosed. Robert Francisco Ilagan Arivalo was the son of film actor-composer Tito Arivalo and Guadalupe Francisco. His uncles included actor and director Angel Esmeralda, who was the father of J. Ilagan, Gerardo de Leon, who was a national artist and an award-winning movie director, and actor-director Conrado Conde. He was married to actress Barbara Perez. He died on August 10, 2023, of Parkinsonian disease complications. Ange Ferru or Angelica Caballero was a veteran film television and theater actress who began her career in 1969 as a member of the Philippine Educational Theater Association. She played the role of Hikuba in the play Trojan Women directed by the late Tony Mabesa at the Manila Metropolitan Theater. She died of a stroke on August 17, 2023. Susan Ople or Maria Susana Tuts Vasquez Ople was a politician and overseas Filipino workers' rights advocate. She was the current secretary of the Department of Migrant Workers when she died. She was the youngest of the seven children of Blas Ople. She served as a chief of staff to her father in the Senate and later at the Department of Foreign Affairs. In 2004, Ople was appointed under Secretary of the Department of Labor and Employment by the former President Gloria Macapagal Arruyo. Ople was the founder and president of Blas Ople Policy Center, which assists distressed Filipino workers in various parts of the world. Mike Enriquez, or Miguel Castro Enriquez in real life, was a Filipino television and radio newscaster. He started his career as a radio broadcaster in 1969 and in 1995, he became a TV anchor for GMA Network Incorporation. He was also the consultant for radio operations of GMA Network and president of the network's regional and radio subsidiary RGMA Network Incorporation, and the station manager of Super Radio. Enriquez was regarded as one of the most influential journalists in the Philippines and a pillar of the Philippines broadcasting industry. He died on August 29, 2023 of cardiac arrest. Jamie Joaquin was an actress 
model, host, social media content creator, and author. She made a career as a television and print commercial model during her younger years and ventured in events promotion and hosting. She became a part of the star magic of ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation. Joaquin landed supporting roles for movies, soap operas, sitcoms, and various TV programs. She died of cancer on October 18, 2023. Joey Paraz, or Joseph Estrada Paraz, was a multi-awarded actor, filmmaker, singer, screenwriter, playwright, and television host. He was a former member of Tanghalang Pilipino. He died on October 29, 2023 of heart-related complications. Loreto Otto Vianzon Tolentino was a professional basketball player and coach. Tolentino played for the basketball team of University of Manila, where he obtained his marketing degree. He also played for the Far Eastern University, where he pursued a degree in banking and finance. Tolentino played for the Philippine national team in the Pesta Sukan Games in Singapore alongside Sana Reyes and Timbong Milincho. After his career ended in an injury, Tolentino got back to basketball as a coach and died on November 5, 2023. Antonio Ginato was a professional basketball player who was part of the national team to represent the Philippines in 1952 Summer Olympics in Helsinki, Finland, and the 1956 Summer Olympics in Melbourne, Australia. Hailing from San Beda College, Ginato's career started when he played for the school's team for three seasons. In 1952, he joined the YCO Athletic Club and captained the Philippine national team in the 1954 World Championship in Brazil. Upon retirement, Ginato became the coach in the Philippine Basketball Association. He died on November 5, 2023. Rina Jimenez David was a journalist and columnist for the Philippine Daily Inquirer. Jimenez David was awarded Best Columnist for Excellence in Population Reporting at the Global Media Awards in 2004 and the Towns Award in 2013. Her book, Women at Large, was a finalist in the Philippine National Book Awards in 1994. She died on November 12, 2023 of an undisclosed illness. Manuel Salazar Urbanis Jr. was a Filipino actor, comedian, screenwriter, and director who was best known for his role as Mr. Sholi, a self-styled Mongolian character who specialized in political satire and commentaries on Philippine popular culture. He died on December 2, 2023, of abdominal aortic aneurysm. Herman Gildo Soriano was a director and co-writer of the original TV series Anna Luna that starred Julie Vega from 1980 to 1985. The series had their make back in 2013 that showcased Andrea Brillantes and Kylan Alcantara. Additionally, he directed the 1970s Anna Luna and Chibugana. He died of an undisclosed illness on December 6, 2023. Juan Manuel Obaldo, also known as Cocoy Baldo, was a popular reggae singer. Baldo turned famous after placing in the finals of The Voice Philippines in 2014. According to reports, he died when a truck collided with his motorcycle in Bacolod City on December 8, 2023. Ronaldo Valdez was a veteran film and television actor whose career spanned for several decades. He was the father of actor-comedian, TV host and singer Jana Gibbs and Melissa Gibbs. 
He was discovered by Dolphy in the mid-1960s, before doing many films in the 1970s, where he gained popularity playing important father roles and rich father figures. He continued to be cast in this role in the 1990s and 2000s, most notably in TV dramas. He passed away on December 17, 2023. And finally, Avelino Borromeo Lim, also known as Samboy the Skywalker Lim, was a professional basketball player of the PBA and many time national player in the 1980s and 90s. Samboy spent a year's resident at Litran before joining the NCAA in 1982. His first stint in the Nationals was during the 1983 SEA Games in Singapore, where the Philippines retained the title. This concludes the 2023 Pinoy personalities who died for the year 2023. Dito nagtatapos ang Pinoy personalities na namaalam sa taong 2023. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to support my channel.